Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Hey, I want to share a quick word of encouragement with you this morning. In my quiet time, I was reading um, this passage in Isaiah 60, 15, and I think it's going to speak to some of you today where you are. Um, I hope it encourages you. Um, and it reads, Though you were once despised in Haiti with no one traveling through you, I will make you beautiful forever, a joy to all generations. Wow. You know, in this passage, Isaiah is reflecting upon one of the darkest periods in all of Israel's history. A roughly 70-year exile in Babylon. Their grief, sorrow, and loss was so intense and all that many of them, it's all that many of them ever knew. So much so that they likely began to think that their story and identity was defined by tragedy and loss. Yet in the face of this temptation, Isaiah speaks a new word, holding on to hope that there is a reality greater than their pain. And we too are constantly tempted to allow our difficulties, our tragedies of our lives to define us. Filled with sin and suffering, this world is not as it's meant to be. And as a result, not a single one of us will pass through this life without sorrow and pain. And you don't really need me to tell you that either. You know this to be true. We all have stories where we have suffered deep wounds for a myriad of different reasons. And as a result, may have had seasons where we spend working through great pains in search of health and wholeness, and maybe that's where you are today. And yet, without denying or minimizing your pain or loss, to be a Christian, a follower of Christ, is to believe that redemption and restoration are greater words than loss and grief. Like Israel, you and I often feel neglected, forgotten, and hopeless. We feel like, as the scripture says, cities with no one traveling through, which is one of the worst things you could say about a city. We are wounded and beaten down, neglected and ignored. And yet, I love what Isaiah says in the face of this wound and tragedy. In verse 1, he says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. You know, guys, as Christians, we must believe that if God can bring Jesus back from the dead. It means our hope isn't in vain. It means we have real concrete reasons to believe that in our darkest moments, they are not what is defining us, our identity. And I love this, and I'm going to repeat it because I love it so much. There's no story that God can't redeem. Let me repeat that again. Like I said, there's no story that God can't redeem. This statement is so much more than an empty sentiment, maybe on a, on a card. It's the heart of the Christian faith and the source of our hope for our future. Well, guys, just felt led strongly in my spirit to share that word with you. I hope it does encourage you, ministers to your heart. If it does, please share this video. Hope you have an awesome day. You know that I love you guys, and I'm praying for you.